Okay, I'm going to show you how to light a pilot light on a wall heater. But before I do that, I want to show you some basic components. The first thing is you typically have a shutoff valve that feeds gas into a supply line that then feeds gas into the actual valve that controls the wall heater. The way you can tell whether or not the supply line is turned off or on is it usually has a little handle. And if the handle is turned parallel to the supply line, then you know that it's turned on. If this were perpendicular, then I would know that it's shut off. So I can tell just by looking at this thing that the gas is turned on going into the unit. The next two things you'll notice are a couple of different dials here. One dial controls the gas going into the unit. And there are three different settings. There's an off, a pilot, and an on setting. Right now it's to the on setting because this unit is turned on for the pilot light. In a moment, I'm going to turn these things off and show you how to light the pilot light from step one. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is there is another dial that controls the temperature. Hopefully if I turn this unit, you'll hear the gas go on. Okay, the gas just went on. The heater is heating. And now I'll go ahead and turn it off. This is also how you regulate the temperature, how hot you want it or how low you want it. And um, the last two things I'll show you is you also have a smaller supply line for gas that actually feeds the pilot light. And then you've got this copper conductor which feeds heat back to the valve which essentially tells the valve that the pilot light is on. The very last thing I'll show you is the pilot light itself. Uh, hopefully you can barely see a blue flame there so you can tell the pilot light's on. So now that I've gone through the different components of a wall heater, I am going to go ahead and set myself up to actually light the wall heater. Okay, I've got my trusty kitchen lighter here. And you can see here that uh, I have the supply line to the wall heater on, but the control for the gas going into the valve is currently set to off. So these dials typically depress inward to turn. So I'm going to turn it inward and turn it to the pilot position. Now there isn't actually any gas feeding the pilot unless I depress that button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to depress the button and light the pilot light up here at the same time. And then I'm going to hold the pilot button down until there's enough heat to register with the copper conductor to tell the valve that the pilot light is actually on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, I can see a blue flame, and I'm going to go ahead and continue holding this for a few seconds. On some units, this can take up to 30 seconds. Uh, this unit shouldn't take too long. I'm going to go ahead and try to press, letting it go. And indeed, the pilot light is still on. So now I'm going to finish turning that dial all the way to the on position. And that is it. I am done lighting the pilot light for this wall heater. Anytime someone wants to go ahead and turn the wall heater on, they can use this dial. It's now turned on, they can enjoy heat, and anytime they leave the house or they want to turn off the heater, they can just turn it back off to the off position. So that's how you light the pilot light on a wall here. Thanks for watching.